Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, check it out. I got something really special for you guys for this episode. Um, I want a free uh, code to download the Mass Effect 3 demo early. Um, it does come out on Xbox, I think, uh, on the 14th. But uh, I got it a few days early, and uh, I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up here. So, play demo. Um, it's about a 2 gigabyte download, uh, so it's not too bad. But uh, I've played through all the other Mass Effects. I really enjoyed them. Uh, really, really good, uh, you know, story. Uh, I think this is going to be the first one that has like a multiplayer component to it, which should be pretty cool. Not quite sure how that's supposed to work out. I know that uh, I guess your multiplayer experience kind of affects your single player campaign story. But, uh, you know, not a whole lot of details from Bioware has, has been released regarding that. But uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. So, uh, okay, so... Yep, yeah, we got here, you know, we got the normal splash screen, and let's go ahead and press start. And... Uh, lights test work, okay. I doubt that's gonna work, seeing as, yeah, <laughs> Mass Effect 3 servers aren't even online, so... That makes sense. So it looks like Mass Effect 2. Um, let's go ahead and do... I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I guess you can't even do the multiplayer here in this demo. Um, which makes sense. Uh, let's see what's in the extras menu. All right, so just normal options. Yeah, won't worry about this too much. See if there's any graphics. Eh, just brightness. <clears throat> I know, I remember in the first one, you could turn off that grain filter, that film grain filter, um, which I hated. Uh, but let's go ahead and start the single player demo. Uh, new game, uh, mail. Let's take Earth back. So yeah, it gets uh, Mass Effect 3 comes out on the 6th of March in uh, North America, and then over in Europe, 9th of March. Um, this, I believe, is supposed to be the end of the trilogy here. Um, what's this? Choose your experience. Uh, let's go for role-playing here, the traditional Mass Effect experience. Uh, we'll leave everything. At the, I never bother doing like the custom, uh, <laughs> you know, custom character builds um, I just always went with the default um, so yeah you got you know Commander Shepard here uh, yeah what kind of class do we want to make him I always went with Vanguard um, that's just what I always used in uh, my, the previous two games so uh, we'll go with Vanguard again um, again I'm just going with what I did before let's go Earthborn and war hero um please indicate which best describes your experience with combat last blah 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 um again keeping in uh line with my uh, other mass effect games uh caden died so we'll kill him again i guess and confirm selections and from what i've seen um this does look like it's going to be a really good game uh, but let's let's see what we got here. <clears throat> and if you haven't played the Mass Effect games, I highly recommend them. They're just good, good games. It looks like we're gonna get a, some cutscenes here. How bad yeah, is it? It sounds like uh, bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space. I animals. can't remember his name. But he's been in the previous the two. Scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? <laughs> this is what Shepard's been Let's warning you guys about for uh, quite a while now. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets yeah. are mobilized. That's a lot of ships. Now, I guess the premise of this one is, you know, Earth gets attacked by the Reapers. Um, I, I don't know what's taking so long for the Council, you know, to realize that Shepard wasn't kidding. Um, you know, it's taken them two games to, I guess, finally figure it out. <laughs> like how, you know, the, the fate of the entire galaxy depends on one sole guy, and that's you. What I always liked about the Mass Effect games is, you know, your previous save games and everything, uh, you know, the following on games, they kind of read your save games, so whatever you did in the previous games always has an effect on what you do in the in the newest game. So who's this kid here? Now, obviously, Mass Effect does have its distinct art style. Uh, no other game really looks like it. Um, and this, you know, it looks like Mass Effect 2. 
Who's this guy? Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. So I guess the he's not a uh, commander anymore. Okay. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. That dude looks like he's on roids. Anderson. <laughs> Admiral. You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? So yeah, it'll be it's nice so to see bad. a lot of the characters come back from the uh, previous beds. games. Um, we'll get it I think everybody who's ever played any Mass Effect games has their own personal hurry. favorite characters that they use in their you know particular party. I always went with uh, with one of the Krogrins just as my tank, and then a uh, a nice biotic specialist to kind of complement what whatever it is I was doing. If I knew that. Um, so let's see here. We should have prepared more, or I'm certain. Let's go with I'm certain. I've been telling you retards uh, that these guys were coming, and you guys just didn't want to believe me. It's the Reapers, and we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. <laughs> Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. <clears throat> None of them have seen what you've seen. And I've definitely seen a lot. I've been all over the galaxy, the the numerous but planets, theory to us. numerous uh, alien species, in interacted with them. So, you yeah, know what Commander Shepard definitely is a, uh, that why they grounded me? <laughs> a renaissance man in that ship? regard. You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. Now, I, I do notice, you know, it's some of the textures look kind of muddy. That that um, that I don't know if that's just word. because this is a demo, or, yeah, I trust you, you know, if it's just showing the age so of the, the, uh, the game I'm engine. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. But, uh, I don't need it, to be either. regardless, it doesn't ruin I the experience. You know, it's still overall, you know, it's a pleasant-looking game. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Still think, you know, the some of the faces look kind of stiff and, and almost plasticky. Good luck in there, uh, Shepard. Not so much in how they glow, but just the way they look. They, to me, they remind me of mannequins. Anderson? Is that Shepard. Ashley, yeah. Ashley? Yeah, she commander? looks a lot better anyway in this series. In or in this ver I or newest iteration of Mass Effect. For orders now. Admiral? That's it, you know, you can just tell Come on. You know, on some of the characters that they put more work into, uh, you know, the artwork or, you know, how they look versus some of the other ones that just kind of look kind of blah. You know commander. I used to. All right, so what are we going to do here? I guess we're going to go talk to the council. Again. I don't know why these people are so stubborn. Again, you've been telling them about the Reaper threat for <laughs> the last two games. Shepherd. You'd think that uh, they'd get the What's picture the by now, but I guess we not. We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are <laughs> unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with. So I don't think you necessarily need to have played the the first two games in order to enjoy this one. It's incomprehensibly um, powerful. I'm pretty sure you know Bioware. You know, they'll you know. book in the first two games, the so anybody new to the series would would not have a problem, you know, picking this up and playing it and following along. Then, how do we stop them? How do you stop the Reapers? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. <laughs> the Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there we must survive at any cost, or we stand together. Let's go to survival at any cost. Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. And I definitely like how they have their dialogue choices here in Mass Effect. It's, uh, a lot of games are starting to copy, you know, the That's same it. type of format That's where it gives you, you know, almost like a conversation wheel, and you just kind of select your response, and then your story plays out based upon on your selections. How they get past our defenses, sir. UK they always have a visual. Like everybody's so intently watching the screen. <laughs> so those are Reapers. Uh, Reapers are set out to... I can't remember. I think it's like every 50,000 years or whatever. They go out and they basically cleanse the galaxy of life you know that way the galaxy can kind of renew itself 
Why haven't we heard and right now, uh, humanity is on the list for extinction. What do we do? The only thing we can. <laughs> we nice dramatic it, pose, Shepard. Or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. There's one of the Reaper ships. Kablooey! Oh, so much for the castle, huh? Shepard's always getting blown up in the first couple, you know, first couple minutes of every game. I don't get it. That guy's just got incredibly bad luck, I guess. So hopefully we'll go shoot some things. This is Admiral Anderson. Report to anyone. I don't think that guy's gonna make Williams. it. Is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to <coughs> we'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Nice dramatic camera pan. All right, so. <laughs> Looks like we're actually gonna get to play some here, so. They're massive. Come on, Shep. All right. So left trigger to zoom in, right trigger to shoot, X to reload. Let's move. And let's go ahead and, uh, you know, obviously, you have all sorts of different powers that you can use and your squad mates can use. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and load up some uh, incendiary ammo. Yeah, you should see it on his gun there. He's got the little flaming bullet symbol. So the Let's controls move. seem uh, pretty much the same from Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 1. Oh. Look out. Let's see if they added anything new. I know that there's supposedly a better melee system uh, in this Mass Effect. Okay, Take so hold. Leap it's cross. Than it looks. All right, that's kind of new. You guys, kind of a look see here. Uh oh. Drop down Come here. On, let's go. I'm suspecting that uh, there should be some bad guys. Some I don't think. Come on. We'll have to go this way. And there is a cover system. Looks clear. And let's it's go. pretty intuitive. It's not Come on, too uh, too is obtrusive. It you read me. I'm it's a pretty easy system to use. You just hold down the A button and uh, Kind of lean into something. Take him out. Some bad guys here. Shoot him. I'm out of ammo. All right. Come on, Back we get those dudes. That's nice. Gives a better view of their uh, health above them. So that's cool. Right. These guys. Take these things out the old fashioned. Tap B to melee. Alrighty. Well, cow. Not too bad. Don't let him grab uh -oh. you. Who's this dude? Bonk. That's close. So, find a way. Med kit. Go ahead and take that. A little XP for it. That's cool. And there's the door. Whoa. All right, it's a whole beat of heavy melee. Okay, so you have two different melees. If you, if you tap it, you know, it's kind of a quick melee. And if you hold it. <laughs> Ow. So I guess they haven't really. I guess that's, you know, an upgraded way. melee system. Not much if you ask me versus tap and hold, but you know, it does a job. Oh, is that that kid from the beginning? Hey, it's okay. Everyone's dying. 
Get out of there, little boy. Come on, you've got to get out of here. <laughs> Take my hand. You can't help me. You can't help me. Here's some foreshadowing for you, huh? I have a feeling that kid's gonna die at some point. Get here. <sighs> Alright kid, see you later. I wonder if I'd selected the other choice if you would have actually gotten out of there. Who knows? Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. No, I won't be responsible. Four people die. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. What? And they still Again. cut through our We've known they were coming for quite a while. <laughs> we need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel. The, Citadel. the fight's here. It'll Citadel's a giant uh you said it yourself. like a space station, I guess you could call it, but the it's like super massive. We don't stop them. The council has to help us. You sure about that? So as you can see, you know, Mass Effect, no, but you obviously it's Spectre. really, really heavy that on the story, really, really heavy on the cutscenes. Uh, but at the same time, gotcha. there is a significant, uh, you know, Thanks. action proponent to the game. I owe you one. Uh, More than one. Ooh, ammo. Cool. So ammo you find by these things, these heat sinks. Yeah, let's go ahead and reload here. Reload, let's keep moving. Hopefully there'll be more things for us to shoot at. That's a giant reaper. Come on, it hasn't Shut been that you. long since you've handled a weapon. Run. Stop. Lieutenant Commander Williams, we're in sight of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. We've made it to the Normandy, taking heavy fire. Oh god. They're gonna take down that dreadnought. Invasive maneuvers. So it's gonna happen. Oh, they just Lieutenant Commander. The shit out of that ship. Ashley. Damn it, they're in trouble. Lamb. Shepard really isn't having a good day to that. Let's make go down here. And to an extent, the Nobody. levels in Mass Effect are fairly linear. You do have Nobody, some choice. Friendlies. Um, but again, they are. It does kind of funnel you to where it wants you to go. You two all right? Um, you get your wide open feeling like when you start traveling. Uh, Throughout the galaxy and whatnot, you can choose you know, which planet you want to go to, which star system, star clusters. Keep your head down. All right, so let's get this dude. Nice. Go on there. Die. All right, we oh, got that guy. So talk to this dude. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We tried to contact that. Now, obviously, no. I probably should have said at the beginning of this video, but uh, you know, there is going to be a little bit of uh, spoilers in here. Um, I don't know how long the demo plays for or how much it actually shows, but this is obviously from the beginning of the game. So I guess that's not too bad. Let's get to that gunship. But. You know what's coming later. I don't know. Um, so there, you know, fair warning. There may or may not be uh, giant spoilers uh, throughout this playthrough. Oh, so it's cool, I guess. They got Skyrim robotic dragons in Mass Effect Three. What the hell are those Bad guys. Now you can't control your party members and use their powers, like for instance uh, Anderson here, he's got this concussion shot, and it's really simple to use, you just kind of point your crosshair at, you know, who you want him to do the power on, hit the green button, and then kapow, see, you just knock that dude down. And yes, headshots do do more damage. Uh, Oh, see, so he hit him with the shot again on his own. 
So that's nice that the AI, you know, it does, uh, or it will, I should say. It will use your powers. You don't have to tell it to use your, you know, special powers. But it will use it on their own. And you can die from cover to cover. Um, See, so you get those little arrows when you start leaning out, and then you hit the green button, and then it'll get into the, uh, the other side. So it's a, it is a really nice cover system. Um, it works. It works fluidly, which is nice. All right, so I'm guessing we got to go down here. Find the radio. All right, what's this? We've got a assault rifle. So cool. Um, you do have, you know, Over here. different types of I weapons, and it's based on your character. I know in the last two Mass Effect games, depending on which character class that you use, would kind of dictate which weapons were available to Normandy, your specific character. You um, I'm not sure if they still have that limitation in Mass Effect 3. Uh, but you know, you've got your standard fare: pistols, some machine guns, uh, shotguns, assault rifles, and then you've got like a heavy Lieutenant. weapon class, so things like missile launchers, flamethrowers. And so forth uh, become available to you, you know, through you either purchasing them, you know, through the in-game economy, or you find them. Let's see how this assault rifle works out, huh? All right, let's uh, jack one of these dudes up here. Nice, get a good way to fire. That's a shot on this dude. Killed. I didn't realize that uh, my health was down or that my shields were down. So we'll go ahead and restart that a little bit there. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I wasn't paying attention to uh, to my HUD there. So, and I guess if you look at the bottom there, um, oops. I guess those red bars down there at the bottom of the screen are your health indications, and uh, that purple bar is like your shield. Gauges this time here, I'm about 50% shields. Yeah, these guys get just come soon. in, don't they? You and me both! Hello. Hi. Hold some weapons. Running out of ammo! Shields down. Man, I found the good hand hand with these guys. I always really enjoyed the pistols. I thought they worked exceptionally well on the Mass Effect games, and I've got no ammo. Oh, but there you go, cavalry arrives. The, uh, that's the Normandy, that's your ship. Uh, it is pretty badass. About time. So, Let's go. Your first Normandy in the first game, make up. <laughs> Uh, basically demolished, blowed up, and then in the uh, the second game you kind of get a rebuild, like a Normandy 2.0. Well, All right, Ashley. Thanks. So where's Anderson? Oh. Shepard. Come on. Yeah, figures he's not coming. Probably into this. Probably should have seen that I'm coming. Not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance. See, so yeah, I mean, the game, players. it controls really well. It seems to play really well. The load the times are pretty Convince insignificant. Um, what if they won't listen? Seems like it runs at a good clip. I haven't really seen them. any uh, 
Now go. That's an order. Big frame rate dips, which is always nice. Um, I know that they did delay this for a little while to to kind of put a little Consider bit more spit and polish on the game. Commander. So hopefully those extra months of uh, you know what you have to do of working on it, you know, pay off. And from what I've seen so far, and just this uh, this demo, you know, it it seems to be uh, it seems to Good be worth luck. the wait. You too, Shepard. I wonder if Anderson is going to die, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Now, where were all these, like, soldiers and shit when I was fighting those guys? Oh, it's that little boy. Oh, man. I knew it. That kid's gonna get whacked. Comes. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, it's just another long list of casualties on uh, Commander Shepard's resume. Yeah, these cutscenes are always really nice. I really enjoy these about Mass Effect. Um, they just have a really nice. Uh, Aesthetically pleasing uh, look to them. So those things look like giant bugs. Wow. Things do not look good for the Earth. So is that it? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Oh, no. So I guess there's a little bit more here. Uh, it's okay. So this is further further along in the game. And uh, it says this one should be a little bit more action-packed. Cool. So a uh, little odd uh, bonus for me and you then. I, I didn't think the demo was going to going to be like that. I figured that was going to be the end of the demo there, but I guess not. This is the Solarian homeworld. Rex. Oh, hey, check it out. It's Rex. Here, uh, so let's keep it simple. One of the uh, characters from the, the previous game. Uh, that guy I like to use as a tank. I still don't trust a word they say. If they start backtracking, the angry Krogan <laughs> act couldn't hurt. Who said anything about acting? Just try to keep it verbal. These females are the best and probably last hope for my people. Oh, it's Liara, we'll another back, character Rex. from the uh, the worry. previous game. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to have like an all-star ensemble I cast here in Mass Effect 3. The ride. <coughs> <laughs> I suppose I can it's like everybody from the first game is in this one. A little <laughs> cutscene right now. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Interesting. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Uh, Let's see Rex is going go to go fuck some shit up. Rock. Rex! We have an unauthorized landing. That's one way to put it. And who authorized you to hold my race up? That dude knows the force. <laughs> Hold! Stand down! Hold your fire! Commander Shepard, restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. Does Solarian hospitality always come with sharpshooters? This is an insult to the Alliance. These understand. 
No matter what some politician might say, Krogan are still considered a hostile race. I wonder why. However, on behalf of the Salarian Union, I apologize. But we must insist that Krogan remain under guard. <sighs> oh, Rex, come with me. And if we insist otherwise? Mm. You'll have another war yeah. on your hands. Do you know I want to deal with another war? Anything Fighting in two front war is never good. Ask Germany. Okay, so it looks like uh, we've got some new stuff here. Um, upgrade some powers here. So I'll sh show you a quick. Uh, you know, obviously you can. You know, there is a significant RPG element to the game. Um, and every time you level up, you know, you earn points that you can kind of apply to one of these uh, skill trees. Um, and these skill trees are, you know, based upon what kind of class you pick. So. In the beginning, if you remember, I chose a Vanguard class, so uh, we can choose some stuff from here. I'm going to go ahead and go into one of these here. So it looks like, you know, the skill tree system is a little bit more in-depth than the last game, which is nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick some stuff here. Force bonus by 30, or damage. Force of damage. Yeah, let's go with that one. And I'll just do the rest with auto level up there. And then you can upgrade, you know, your characters as well. I'm just going to auto level these guys up uh, just for the sake of speed here. And then, yeah, okay. So looks like we got some new weapons. So let's see what we got. Garrus, he's always really good with the, uh, you know, he can use the assault rifle or the sniper rifle. We'll leave him on the assault rifle. Uh, Liara, we'll leave her on the submachine gun. And then what else do we have here? Predator's pistol. Uh, Matlock. It's not assault rifle. I guess it's like carbine, which is cool. Short range submachine gun, and then a shotgun. So, yeah, I guess we'll go with this. And let's go ahead and set our ammo here. Um, give Garrus armor piercing ammo. Put warp ammo on her, and I guess we'll stay with incendiary ammo. It's okay, and you can order your teammates around by, uh, you know, you look where you want them to go, and you press left or right on the D-pad. Of course. Um, and the left and right corresponds. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see their uh, their character portraits. Garrus, if I wanted to move him somewhere, I'd look, put the crosshairs, and then press left on yes, the D-pad. Um, and then if you hold down on the D-pad, they'll come back to you and, yes, and get with you. But let's go ahead and press this. Are you okay? And that there, for those of you who already know, that's a uh, you know that's Morden Solus, uh, Solarian scientist. He's from the second game. He was a really good character. I used him a lot uh, during my Mass Effect 2 playthrough. We'll do more than challenge them. So I guess you're trying to rescue a female Krogan. Shepard, meet which, us at the uh, is likely to target. That's interesting because I thought all the females were, were gone from the Krogan uh, species, but I guess not. And that's just me nerding out on Mass Effect lore. So let's kill these. Let's see how this uh, carbine works, huh? Single shot. Wow, it's pretty dirty. Uh, let's go ahead and have somebody use a power here. Uh, rip your new part at the molecular level. That sounds good. <laughs> Alright, so where are we supposed to go here? I guess we're going out. Oh, bad guys. They are responding. Shepard and Kraken. I'll try to draw some of their fire. Alright, let's uh, jack this dude up here with somebody. Hang on. Create singularity and there we're we trying go. to get to you, Morton. And check this out, ready? Shuffle! They didn't stand a chance. Morton. 
looks like we are pick somebody up there. Let's see if we can get somebody on this dude here. Come on, overload and I really like this uh, carby, man. It's really quite powerful. So moving on. Get through this door. Let's see what lies for us in here. Cerberus isn't fooling around. They're capable of anything. <laughs> Talk to this guy. Commander, stay back. Hostiles just yeah. down the hall. Let's see what these guys end up doing. Captain Kirahi. It's Major now. Always hoped we would work together again. Is there an easier way around? What kind of gun does he you have? Could say that. Yeah, he's got like a uh, little mine gun. How do I not have <laughs> one of those? Go, Commander! Now oh, that doesn't look good. Uh, turret. Looks like Cerberus got some upgrades. It's okay. We can uh, disable that turret. I think. We'll uh, use overload electronics. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and then have her do that. Maybe try to flank them. Oh, it looks like she got killed, so hold RB to use first aid. It should bring her back up to life. A lot of dudes here. So we'll uh, see what we can do here. I'm that engineer, huh? Up. Let me get back so I can recharge. Yeah, it looks like that combat, combat engineer is the one who's really messing us up. Do a grenade. She's gonna get killed again. Alright, so we got that turret. This turret's a no joke. So we'll go ahead and reload here. And I'm assuming this is on the base difficulty, the you know the normal default setting, so let's try that again. Wow, I got hit by something hard on that one. That turret down. You really need to get rid of that guy right there. So that's the guy who keeps on putting those turrets up. Heal again. Oh, 
We need to find out who that combat engineer is. Jack this dude up. Alright. To the next checkpoint. I'm sure Cerberus is in done. That was pretty tough. Um, where do we gotta go here? Just gotta go through this door. Kid. Morton was right. Cerberus must have been too dumb. More ammo. They got here too fast. Every war has its traitors. Oh shit. <laughs> There's a lot of guys down there. Alright, I'm gonna take the high road. Let's see if I can flank these guys. Top. Smash that guy. Okay. Let's get the singularity. I was able to get that guy from there. That was pretty cool. Going through this door. More bad guys. Take him out. Get him away from the female. about the dive and roll. Oh. So, who are we fighting here? Wow, they just let that dude on fire. What do we gotta do? Power relay. This is actually a pretty long demo. Um, a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be, and looks like we've leveled up, so we'll go ahead and level up. And again, we'll just do a auto level up for time's sake. Get this power terminal. More bad guys. Let's go get up here. Better position. Don't let him near the female. So there's those dudes. Get away from that grenade. Oh. Not get away from me very well. Keep up the pressure. That dude is just not working out. Where'd that guy go? Let's see if we can just get in there and smack these dudes. Different powers here. All right. 
Yeah. I guess we're gonna release her now. How are you holding up? Containment shield strong, but not designed for direct fire. This true. So yeah, I mean, this is just a very cinematic game. It, at times, it feels more like you're, you know, watching a movie than it is you're playing a, a video game, which is nice because you know it definitely increases that immersion factor, uh, you know, while you're playing. She'll be there. I'll see you up top. Oh, that looks like a really armored guy. This dude obviously needs to go away. I need to shot with somebody. I didn't realize that dude was right there. Yeah, this single shot carbine is uh pretty ridiculous here. Shepard, get your ass up here. I can't fly around forever. The female's on the way up to the landing area. You pull this off, and I'm making you an honorary crew. Right. We're almost back so up top. You can cross that, go up these stairs. <clears throat> So we can manage something. Now the uh, the aiming, it is kind of skill based, um, so it's not just you know if I put my crosshairs on them I'm gonna hit them. Um, there is some stats that go into that. Oh, let's get this dude right here. Integrity looks good. Let's go and activate it. Shepard, you must authorize release. <coughs> Pod then transfers to loading area. And hopefully they'll bring back you know the armor customization. That was always really cool in the uh, in the previous games. You could you know change the color, change the camo patterns on your armor, change individual pieces of armor, um, and they give you you know different stat boosts and and things like that. Oh damn. This should be interesting. That is a big mech thing. <laughs> that thing has rocket launchers. So I'm imagining this thing's going to have you know, a lot of shields, a lot of armor, and I'm going to have to disable that stuff before I can uh, actually hurt it. Alright, so we're going to use uh, we use his shields here. Effective against shields and barriers. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I don't think Singularity is going to do much to that, but uh, give it a try. Other than that, we're gonna shoot him a lot. Cerberus never did play fair. Oh, What's wrong, Shepard? You're getting old. Take that thing out. Alright. Rex has an exact mellow. Let's try to get rid of those shields again. With aid. Alright, now she's down to its armor. Looks like the girl has gone down, so we use another med kit. <laughs> she's 
get another rocket, so. Let's see here. Really need to shift. Use our last med kit and a concussive shot. Yeah, watch that. I still got super troopers left. Why'd you put singularity on me? Oh, this guy's on those damn grenades. Alright, let's do this guy the old fashioned way. Looks like we leveled up again, and I'm guessing that uh, the end of this demo has got to be soon. I mean, if not, this is a pretty significant demo. So let's just see what happens here. this guy when we needed him, huh? You had me worried there for a minute. Let's make this quick. Let's get you out of there. <laughs> oh, damn. I can handle myself, Rex. <laughs> Women. Well, this is going to be another morality choice here. Shoot him or help him. Find out. Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? There's no help in that guy. All right, so that looks like that's the end of the demo, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, can't wait till it comes out. Uh, should be pretty good. And with that said, um, I know this video was kind of long, but uh, I just wanted to bring you guys this video, you know, because I know that the demo doesn't come out uh, to the masses until, you know, for a couple days. But hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.